And we're back and set to finish off the first section of the castle. This one uh, starts off pretty fast, there's doors to your right. And the good thing about this, uh, or these next three stages is that they do throw a lot more enemies at you, as well as uh, more blocks that you have to clear with either the hammer or the pickaxe. And um, I think this is where the pickaxe makes an appearance, but later on you're going to need the hammer. And they do give you plenty of weights to work with. So at least uh, you can lure Daffy into some of those weights and then just use them to your advantage. And um, I probably shouldn't have gone there as early as I did, but what are you going to do? Instead, what I'm going to do is just uh, wait for the stupid dog because he's in the way. But this is another one of those stages where you really do have to make sure you cover all your areas because uh, it's pretty easy to get lost and not only just to get lost, but to miss a lot of stuff because you're outrunning enemies. And um, honestly, the enemies in this stage aren't going to be as big an issue because it is pretty easy to uh, get them lined up and then to either have them all chasing you at once where you at least know where everyone is, or in order to uh, go through the right spot where you can have them all lined up and eliminate them all at once. So what I'm trying to do here is just uh, make sure I get to all the areas whenever I can, and this is another one that relies more on speed than strategy. Although uh, right here I have a bunch of daffies on my tail, and um... Let's see, here I almost get hit by the fake treasure chest. Well, that would have been pretty embarrassing. But either way, there's a bunch of daffies on my tail, and there's actually a Yosemite Sam wandering around here too. So instead, I just uh, do a lot of fancy maneuvering here, and I have no idea how I didn't get hit. But this is my, uh... Or this is just actual skill build-up from uh, playing four games of this series. You tend to learn things here and there. But either way, that's just, uh, me using either being really cocky or just, uh, making sure I get out okay. Not really sure which one it was. But as I was saying before, uh, this is another, uh, section where you are gonna have to rely a lot on pipes to get to a lot of the areas with most of the keys, because just like all the other previous games, you, uh, have to use the pipes, or most of the complicated, or, let's see, I'm just trying to figure out what to say here. Most of the, uh, keys are in doors that require pretty complex methods to get there. Yes, that's what I meant to say. And right there, that jump cut was, a uh, short backtracking that, uh, ended up having Daffy land on my head. So I am already down a heart. Here, I'm just worried about me landing on top of another Daffy. So what I have to do here is just take the pipe to, uh, go to the right. Then also, the, uh, thing with the pipes is it's important to not only look around, but to know where everything goes. Because just like the third one, it is really easy for, uh, these pipes to lead you the wrong way. And, uh, this isn't even the later stages of the castle where it gets a lot worse. This is only the first section of the castle, mind you, so... They do reintroduce the pipe gimmick, but... It's not really as pronounced in this one as compared to, uh, other stages. And right here is just a, uh, hub where you have a bunch of doors and then you have the exit. I am, however, missing a bunch of keys, so... I'm just gonna have to get back to those. And then, right here, I just have three more to go. I think, uh, yeah, they're all down here. So what I had to do was go to the right and then go down. I mean, I found that easier compared to, uh, going all the way right and then having to go back up and backtrack and take the pipe all the way to those, uh, last ones up top. I mean, that would have been a little bit easier. And I, once again, somehow don't get hit. I think that's just the, uh, game's hit detection working in my favor. But either way, all I have to do here is just, uh, wait for Yosemite Sim. And then, uh, just make sure I got everything covered. I think the, this should be the seventh key right here. And just like um, I've said before, all the uh, keys are either going to be guarded by particular enemies or in hard-to-reach places. So that's just something to uh, keep your or keep in mind if you are choosing to play this game. So let's see, all I have to do is just uh, 
go over here and get to... I think this should be the last one. That's I know it's just another weapon. Um, I think the last one's actually down from here. And yeah, this is another one where there's only one way in. So that is, uh... Just something you do have to know while you're playing these games. And right here I decided to collect some rewards for my efforts. Right here I get another one up. So let's just go ahead and get this over with. And if I do sound a little bit more hoarse than usual, it's just because the weather's been all over the place and, uh... Also, my throat's been kind of feeling the effects of it. I mean, I don't think I'm sick or anything, it's just for some reason I've just been having throat problems. Not really sure what it is. But anyway, that was, uh, me getting the jump on Daffy earlier. And, um, that is something that's kind of a trial and error thing. You kind of had to know that Daffy was going to drop down there in order to get rid of him. But either way, since uh, experience does matter in this game, you can just use it to your advantage whenever you feel like. Here's our uh, first introduction to the pickaxe. I mean, the pickaxe comes back for the first time in this world. Actually, wait, I could be wrong. And if I am, I'm sure one of you guys will call me out on it. But here, I just need to uh, take the pipe in order to get to another key. This is where they uh, start expanding on the uh, concept of this stage, which, or the concept of this world, which is using pipes in order to get to all the keys. And uh, this time they're going to add pipes, and then they're also going to have blocks that you're going to need to break. Usually, in this case, it's going to be with a hammer. And um, what is important is that you use the or you make sure that you don't get trapped between blocks. Because that is something that can really trip you up in this stage, is if you do end up getting trapped between a uh, block you needed a hammer to break, but you don't have the hammer, and then a bunch of daffies catch up to you and kill you. That is uh, something that is going to trip you up in this stage, and it probably will get you the first time. And uh, it's just really some trial and error, and more so uh, strategy. I mean, that's just the way to go in this game. And in this whole series, for that matter. Yeah, I kind of... I mean, call me a masochist, but I kind of wished, uh... Enemies could also throw weights at you. I mean, like, uh... Push the weights at you. That's, I think, that would have made the game a little bit more interesting. I mean, not only do you have to be aware of the enemies, but you do have to... Watch out for their tra or they can use your own traps against you. That's, I think, that would have been a pretty neat idea. I'm sure if somebody out there wants to make a ROM hack of this game, or... I don't know, maybe they could have done that in Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 2 Mayhem Edition. I still need to check those out, by the way. I have not done that yet. Here, I'm just gonna wait for Daffy to jump into the bomb. And probably a good thing I didn't drop down, otherwise I probably would have landed on top of Yosemite Sam. So here, I just need to take the uh, pipe and then... Go all the way down and get to the sixth key, I think. Actually, no way, that's a hammer. That's actually going to be more important than a key because I'm going to need to use a hammer in order to find the remaining keys. So, let's see, what I have to do here is, uh... Well, I think what happened was, uh, I forgot to get some things on the bottom area. Yeah, see, I'm just taking the shortest way I can to, uh get to those breakable blocks. And right here with the first breakable block, all I had to do is just use the pipe. And I found using the pipe to be a little bit easier because, uh, you do have to use it regardless. I mean, that's how you want to get there is up to you. But the other way, I find uh, using the pipe to be easier. And here I just screw up my timing and land on a dog. But, um, like I was saying before, I do like, uh, the idea that they give you more than one way in, but then how you just choose to do this, up to you. And then that's kind of like part of the skill, and not everybody plays this game the same way, and not everybody plays Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle games the same way, and... That is something I do enjoy about the series, is that, uh, while the first one was kind of linear in that they had the same strategies, uh... 
I think all the other games gave you a lot of room to improvise. I mean, uh... Well, I mean, I probably shouldn't say that about the first one, I mean... It was somewhat linear because the stages were so small, but... They also did give you, uh... Differences in strategies, and I know I have my set of differences- or strategies, and... Other Let's Players out there have their sets of strategies. Well, I probably should some watch some other ones just to see. And I'm um, here, I'm just taking the wrong pipe, no big deal. Since I already did wipe out all the major enemies in this stage, I really don't have much else to worry about. So here should be the last one. And it is. So I think all I'm doing here is just cleaning out the remaining doors. And right there, just in case you need any help, you can just get that. So let's just drop down and just finish this thing. And now for the last stage from the first section of the castle. It is pretty easy for Daffy to get the jump on you right away. And, um, what you do have to do is just, uh, do a lot of running away at first because you don't have any weapons to work with. And, um, well, right there you get your first weapon. You can choose to use that if you want, or you can save it. Completely up to you. Which is one other, uh, freedom that I described that this game gives you that some of the other ones really don't. And, um, this is something I haven't really, uh, commented on enough in this game, is how they let you use both weapons instead of just one or the other. Like, uh, 3 and 2 did. And I actually kind of like that concept. I mean, this was one game I actually don't give enough credit, but... I mean, I'll have, uh, more thoughts about it as we go further into the series. Because I actually don't remember the last remaining worlds all that well. So I am going to have to uh, play those a lot more, and just get to recording those whenever I can. I do have up to uh, World 8 done, so I should be able to get this one out and then the rest of World 8 out this week. But then again, based on the way this series has gone, you never know. And here I think I'm being clever, but then it turns out Daffy's going the wrong way. And he toes up the pipe before I get a chance to drop a weight on him. Once again, that's just the enemies outsmarting me, which is, uh, something that has happened quite a lot in this game compared to all the other ones. I'm not really sure why, but it just does. Actually, I think the reason why is because, uh, if you're at a level above them, then, uh, they are gonna take the first way going up that they can. That's, I think that's how it goes. So I have to remember that from now on. I mean, maybe that doesn't bite me in the ass in World 8. Actually, I'm pretty sure, uh... Well, actually, I don't remember. I'm just gonna have to watch those again. Before commentating over them. And here it's pretty easy to get trapped if you're, uh... Not careful. And here I almost could land on top of another dog. And what I have to worry about here is that Daffy's on my tail and then there's a dog blocking my path. I probably should have just killed one of them, but... Unfortunately, I decided not to, for whatever reason. So what I'm gonna do is just slowly wait for these guys. So what I'm gonna have to do now is just, uh, move up. Now I wanna do that? Well, let's see. Here I need to drop down, it looks like. So that's, uh, actually the easy way of taking care of those guys is just to drop down and then work your way back up and, uh, get to all the keys that way. So what I have to do now is just go back up. And there were actually a bunch of doors that I missed, and this is one place where it is really easy to miss a bunch of doors. I do not know why I got that boot, because I clearly have shown no skill whatsoever when it comes to using this thing. I keep overrunning doors, I keep running into enemies, I keep missing everything I can. I don't know, this boot and me just don't get along well at all. So what I have to do here is just, uh, use the pipes to my advantage. And, uh, what I do have to worry about is that, uh, it is really easy to 
have enemies land on top of you at these pipes because it's kind of like, I mean, you can use the pause function to see where the pipe goes, but unlike the third one, they actually took out the enemy location, so you can't really use it to spy on other enemies before you use the pipe. Which I guess is kind of a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, it was a much better thing in the third one, because then the third one, one hit kills you, whereas in the fourth one, it doesn't. And I did die a ton in the third one, so... Even with that advantage, I still died a ton in the third one. Well, that's because those games were designed differently. So, let's see, what I have to do here is just go back down and make sure I get to these doors. Even though I probably should just kill one of those daffies while I... or just kill as many daffies as I can. But for whatever reason, I'm just not doing that. I mean, the flaw is with, uh, deciding to kill all the enemies that you can is that eventually you are going to run into a tough spot and uh, you are going to need weapons to bail you out and here I just shoot the or go after the 100 ton way too early and end up missing again especially since I've been missing like crazy in this game but as I was saying earlier if you do end up uh, using all the weapons anywhere you can then eventually you're gonna end up running into trouble and you're not gonna have any weapons to bail you out. But it just depends on your skill level, I guess. As well as, uh, some luck's involved in there, too. As well as some trial and error, because knowing the level layout sure as hell helps. Anyway, that was me, uh... Or that jump cut was, uh, me having to go all the way back down and, uh... Go all the way to the left, because, uh, I missed a bunch of doors at the beginning. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. No, not you again. So instead, let's just run away and shoot him. Hey, I finally used that thing to my advantage. Who knew? It only took half the game, but I finally figured out that... Well, I guess I spoke way too soon. But anyway, all I have to do here is just run all the way to the right and then finish the level. Uh, let's see, I think the easy way is just to take the pipe from the bottom right. So with that, we are finished with World 7, and I will see you in the next one, in World 8 and Section 2 of the Castle.